Hello and welcome to the Rough Mix Podcast, back to episode 5. Uh, we have two announcements today. We have, uh, first off, a new name change. Yep. New name change in the in the group. Uh, just want to point it out there. Izzy V is no longer Izzy V. Izzy V, R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> Izzy V. R.I.P. Izzy V. Yeah, so now it's going to be just Vig. But V dot I dot C, um, because my name is Victor Israel Chavez, so... Just make it easy, Vic. Everyone calls me Vic, so that works out. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then also we got... Um, Two birthdays. The big birthday boy himself right here. Yeah. You know? The host, Trunks. With How the old are you now? 15? Uh, 20. <laughs> <laughs> 20. Let's go with the old man. How old are you? 30? The big 3-0. The big 3-0. The pops 30 years of the group. Old. Yeah, 23. But yeah. Okay. All right. So, so let's get into yeah. our topics today. Episode five, fifth episode, five weeks, every Monday. It's crazy, we just made kidding. It. It's not every Monday. It's uh, every. Just yeah, it every is Monday. Now. It's every Monday now. It is every now. Monday. It's every Monday. Yeah. Before it was like Tuesday. Then it went to like Monday. Every Monday, Monday, all platforms. Yep. Rough mix podcasts. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Except so, for. So uh, SoundCloud. Yeah. yeah, that's in the works. That's it's because uh, we're broke come. and we don't, I don't want to pay the monthly fee. <laughs> SoundCloud <laughs> goal. If we're being no, real. It's not even, it's like we need sponsors. Or like we're that. already playing uh, for Podbean. You know, shout out Podbean. Yeah, shout out Podbean. Yeah, shout out Podbean. All right, all right. Let's, let's get, get, get into it. <laughs> that was a two-minute intro. Jesus Christ. Dude, all right. Time. So for our first topic, uh, getting over beat block, and I know I'm gonna go ahead and start with Jordan because I know Jordan actually is going through beat block right now. Yeah, I'd say I'd say it's a a form of beat block. Um, since since I'm used to making melodies and whatnot, it's just been like a form of of laziness. Where right now, like probably the past week and a half, two weeks, I just haven't been um, motivated to to like make melodies and just lay down everything from scratch. So um, something that's been like helping with that is just. Either uh either going on splice or or getting samples from friends and just you know starting with like sort of a like a foundation like maybe maybe a, a pad or a key and then building up off of that and adding melodies to that and so I don't know if I would really call that like too much beat block as I would just be like you know um, sort of wanting to take a shortcut to my approach but uh, but yeah that's definitely something I've had to deal with in the past and I'm pretty sure all of us you yeah. Know, Happens to me a lot actually, because I I, I actually make uh, mostly sample type beats, where I'll sample a lot of old songs. So I listen to like samples and I just hear the same. I can't think of different drum patterns to play, other than like simple like boom bap um, samples. Oh, yeah, actually that does happen to me too. Or it's the same exact drum pattern for every single sample, and 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 it's hard to kind of, it's hard to change it when. And let don't, the the way I fixed kind of how I switch my drum patterns is pitching up samples and making them faster or pitching them up and pitching them or pitching them down and making them faster so that the snares hit on like one and three instead of two and four because two and four I feel kind of locked in I feel like it's kind of simple I don't know it's just me maybe, one, maybe preference one three? yeah well, no one and three I feel better one and three yeah the snare to hit on one yeah well, I've never I never heard of that the snare, the, hair, the snare to hit on three on you three. know what I mean? Yes. Just like the halftime. Yes. Yeah, okay. Not on one, though. No, I know, but people say one and three. Because oh, okay. if you look okay. at it on the okay. step sequencer, it's like one and three. All right, all right. And then, um, like the blue, the white one. You're talking about the white one, right? White? Not red. Yeah, the third yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Third, yeah, yeah. The third one three is white. Is white. That's ha- the halftime. Yeah, That's yeah half-time. it's just one in time. It's the first. Step. It's just on the three. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Three. It's the first yeah. Step. yeah. But it's also. Con- Never mind. I'm not I know. I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the way um I get over B block. Is um I think lately it's been easy for me because lately I've been mi- I've been like mixing, so I feel like when I'm not when I'm not making when I'm not making beats I'm kind of mixing so I kind of get my my head off of um not listening to samples. So you, where so I'll you just also mix. like don't feel like as pressured to make beats because you you have something else to do yeah. still like involving music you mm-hmm. know because that's like a big problem with you know if you're just making beats you feel terrible when you can't make beats because you're like you know i want to be productive but yeah it's this is my only outlet yeah that's why i feel like mi- mixing with vic has been pretty cool because sometimes me and vic 
we both make this, like kind of the, me and him probably make the most similar style of uh, of uh, beats where we both sample and we both like chop up vocal chops and we you know we, we yeah. have the same style yeah. so every after we're done like mixing or in the middle of mixing where we're kind of tired or ears are kind of like drained or whatever we'll we'll make we'll make a beat or something like 20 30 minutes and then it 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 kind of makes us feel productive but we're also we're being like twice as productive i guess we're mixing we're making beats fi- finishing the mix finishing the beats tracking them out it kind of like kind of makes you feel yeah because it's productive yeah exactly if we're not mixing we're making beats i feel like not, lately yeah. we've been like really busy though it's either we're making beats we're mixing we're doing the podcast or we're tracking out, we're we're tracking tracking out, people, out yeah sessions and stuff yeah and i mean i don't know about what about eli let's hear some uh how do you get over beat block eli you just gonna skip me well, because we were talking, <laughs> we were talking. No, no, go down the line. Go down oh, go ahead. Go down the line. Okay, Vic. No, 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 go to Eli. Go no, to Eli. Go down the line. Wait, actually, oh before God. before we go to you, real quick, I just want to say, uh, this is tech. Hopefully, our first visual podcast. Oh yeah, our yeah. first ever visual True. podcast. This should be on. Uh, we are recording right here with an iPhone X. iPhone X. Why was that important? <laughs> because I have an iPhone eight and my phone's trash. And then we all have iPhone eight. Wow. I have an eight. You yeah, just eight. insulted like eight. half the population. I have the eight plus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm using my girlfriend's iPhone Big, X. Uh, uh, shout out, baby, I love you. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. And Vic. All right, so for me, um, I get beat block when I hear a sample. When I hear a sample, and then, like, I'll hear a beat that uses the same sample, and then it'll, like, make me not know how to make a new style or a new type of beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's one of the things. So, like, I tend to never look up the sample or, like, look up anybody's beats. Yeah. Because you feel like you use the same in. sample because then you feel like you're, yeah, it's it. It's over. Mm-hmm. Like, That's why I never like listening to anybody's beat after a sample. Like, yeah. I can't hear it because then then all I think about is that. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. I'm going to copy the same pattern and, but um, it's, yeah, it's bad. You're going to get the same groove subconsciously mm-hmm. and not um, be able to expand from that. But how I get over beat block is that maybe I'll go, like, walk my dogs or play 2k play fifa make beats usually i'm here though Wait, how beats. are you gonna get over beat block if you make beats <laughs> exactly. or mix or yeah, mix, mix i guess mix yeah songs. mix songs i don't mean make beats yeah he's dirty he's kind of mix it. Yeah. <laughs> mix songs or like mix the beat like an old beat that i had or pull up my old beats and yeah. go through my old ones and then like i'll get some inspiration or maybe i'll change something on like something i thought was done already yeah um but yeah i just do other stuff and then i get back to it and yeah so like you distract yourself from making beats and then you come back and you kind yeah, of and I get back to it, yeah because i don't really get beat block too much i would say because i don't make i haven't been making beats that much lately it's like been like way more mixing you wouldn't say like every single day you like sit down and make a beat it's all, no. it's like whenever you feel like it yeah it's either like yeah every day i'm doing something with audio but it's not beats anymore now it's either like yeah you know yeah. it's mixing now that's take that takes up a lot or tracking out, or like you know when we do those like yeah, yeah. We do practice tune, sessions, auto tune sessions. After I'm at home, like mixing for like six hours, I don't I don't even want to make beats later on. Yeah, and, like yeah. I mean, it depends though on the tracking sessions. If I'm tracking out like a like a <clears throat> someone in my style, like lately we've been tracking out uh, Virginia, right? Yeah. So we kind of uh, shout out Virginia. Yeah, you know? shout, shout out Virginia. Virginia. Um, we've been tracking out like I guess oh what, like a singer. We're yeah, not tracking she, out like rappers singer, yeah, or singer. hip-hop artists. If I was doing like hip-hop artists and I heard someone go over beats, I would be like, I could f- kind of feel confident and be like, oh my gosh, like what if I get my beat up there one day and like I could hear my beat, someone using my beat. Because I've never you, I've never heard anybody go over one of my beats other than like myself and my friends. Me too. And only then, lately I've had... I, I've only, yeah. Yeah. And it feels better when like someone that is actually interested, that's not your friend, that's like kind of like being your yes man, it's like, yeah, it's really good. Let me, let me go on it. You know, I've never really had that before, and I still I don't ha- I've still never had that. But yeah, like, and it and it sounds it always sounds way better. When yeah, someone's it sounds on way it. better when someone's on it. Yeah, always. I, like, like if you listen to intro, like you're just the beat that by itself, no lyrics. It's kind of like it gets repetitive. Yeah, it's annoying, and it, especially you, the beat maker, who is there like for an hour and a half listening to the same thing for an hour and a half. You're gonna be so tired of listening to that that you don't even want to hear it again. Well, once I compose it, I listen to it back once and I close the app because I can't like. I can't sit there after I've heard it so many times, like in a pattern mode, and then yeah. I compose it. I can't sit there and listen to it again for a while. I only listen to it after I tr- if I track it out. I can never listen to it in a pattern. If yeah. I track it out, then I'll play it once. I'm like, all right, it's cool. Yeah, save yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. It. It's not like a song where you could listen to it a few times. Yeah, only when if there's lyrics over it, then that's when it's different. Because I, every time I listen to a beat 
with no lyrics, I'm like critiquing it a lot. Like I'm make I'm like nitpicky. Me too. And if like, I had if yeah. I had vocals over it, I'd be like, it's 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 it sounds really good. That's how I think a lot of my beats. Like I don't think they're gonna sound good if someone raps on them, and then someone raps on them completely different than how I thought someone would rap on it. It's like, all right, this yeah. sounds kind of good. Yeah. Actually. Like yeah. the one you showed us. Like literally that like that beat. Like yeah, that one. Was I sick. thought that beat was trash. I thought like it was hella repetitive. No one was gonna like be able to rap on it, and like they they did good on it. Yeah, it sounds really good. Really good. Like Travis so, yeah. Scott. Sounds like Travis Scott. Yeah. It does, sure it does. Shout out Mike. Shout, Shout out, out D Swag. Shout out D Swag. Shout out Huss. Huss. That's his real name. That's yeah. his rapper name. Huss. For the artist name. Yeah. Artist name. Yeah. Okay, cool. Artist name. Let's go, Eli. Uh, kind of the same thing with Vic recently. I've just I only make beats when I want to make beats. I haven't been really like sitting down every day and telling myself I'm gonna go make like a beat or two today. Um, I feel like that was more in the beginning when we didn't have sessions. We would kind of be like, okay, yeah. at lunch we're gonna make a beat today. Yep. We're gonna go. We're gonna make an EP, like whatever it might be, of beats, but yeah. um, like a beat tape. Yeah. Yeah. Since I've been doing a bit more sessions and kind of trying to stay on the mixing side recently, uh, I haven't really had beat block. I would say, but to get over it, I same thing. Like watch some Netflix for a little while, uh, listen to music, and like something I wouldn't normally listen to. Don't I wouldn't go listen to hip hop. I'm like, okay. I'm not feeling this right now. Like, let's go listen to some jazz or like old rock or like something weird that's, that's gonna give me inspiration. Um, video games. I think we all probably yeah. do that at times. Mm -hmm. um, or just going to hanging out with the friends, just getting out the house. Like, all right, maybe I just need to get away from a screen for a little while. Maybe yeah. that's what's up. Um, yeah, but for anybody out there, like, if you just can't, if it's if it's for the melody side, I think like like you were saying, how you're just like right now, you're kind of maybe over melodies or you're burns out creatively like you know what i mean um yeah, like, go need... go on splice go get loot packs go whatever you need and start with that don't just make a whole <laughs> like go don't make like a whole beat off of just the loop don't yeah. make just drums yeah because i i definitely like i i look for things that i know i can build off of and i mean there's nothing wrong too like or with chops like vocal chops like yeah, yeah. like I've, I've been really loving messing with vocal yeah. chops lately yeah. um been doing a lot like showcasing that a lot on twitter recently um and i mean even even when i find loops like if i there's a difference so like if i find loops then i try and just like build off of those if you know they're like four or eight bar loops yeah but sometimes like i'll find ones that are like fully structured out oh and I really like all those, you yeah. have to do is drums and i don't mind those at all it feels a little boring yeah and i feel like i'm barely doing anything on it but it's nice it, it's it's a good little boost for the day. Even if you do just like one of those, you know, it's a good boost of the day. It's like, okay, at least I made something today. Even yeah. though I didn't do much work, I still did something, you know? And so, um, yeah, I just definitely, you know, with what you're saying, recommend going on Splice, sampling, like getting out of your yeah, element, sample. just trying something yeah, new. Yeah. And, and like me, how I'm used to melodies, like I'm not used to sampling. I'm not used to like going off of loops too often. So, you know, I just tried a different approach to to refresh my mind, and I. But you're getting there, right? With the samples. Hmm. You've been working on it. I mean, because you guys have that thing yeah, on Saturday, do. right? We have a we have a competition in San Francisco the 29th. Y'all going? It's actually here. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, here. It, says it, says, it says San Francisco, it says San Francisco but it's, it says it. Yeah, it's it's yeah. here though. Yeah. But yeah, Jordan and Trunks are Jordan and Esteban are doing a sampling competition. Hopefully, someone yeah. the 29th, someone, right? Someone Saturday the 29th. Yeah. So by the next episode, you guys will know. Yeah, if someone want to, wants to cover me how it was, yeah. <laughs> please, please call. On, please. But um, yeah, yeah, the the person judging this competition is a pretty well known producer by the name of Bosco, who um has worked with Kanye West, E Forty, um, my guys, Beyonce, Hit Boy, I want to say. I think all, I, all like all the big guys, bunch yeah. Of people, I think it bunch. said Drake too, right? Did it say Drake? Uh, I don't know why Drake. Probably. I mean, I think it, it did probably, though. I, I mean, swear, yeah, I think yeah. it did. I think it, he's done a lot, yeah, and it's it's definitely like. You know, something very exciting because everyone that's starting out or just making beats in general would love to hear from a pro what their what their stuff sounds like. So it's a very it's a very cool opportunity. It's um what the contest is about is they teamed up with Tracklib, which is a sample clearing site, um, and they teamed up with them. So we'll we'll go in there. Um, and they'll I guess hand us samples from Tracklib, and we'll have to. Uh, we'll have to be able to, you know, basically flip, flip the, the sample. sample in two hours. Yeah, I think it was a two-hour period, and then Bosco himself judges all of them. And I think it was like 
Yeah. The yeah, top, top three. The first place gets their sample cleared and gets to do whatever they want with it. And I think they get like 10 credits on TrackLib or f- something, right? I don't know about credits. No, you get five free um, sound kits. You get something from TrackLib. Um, and no, then you, you get, get, you get, your, you get some sample. exclusives. Some yeah. exclusive packs, they said, too. Yeah, yeah that, that one. Yeah. But it's like five credits. I swear it's like five credits Probably. to use. To like but actually... I think just the fact that that guy's going to be, Bosco's going to be judging it alone is probably like the biggest yeah, thing, like, right? I mean, I, he's gonna I, know. I'll take that confidence boost. Yeah, he's going to, yeah. yeah. You know? I think you guys, yeah, you guys are going to do good. I can't go, yeah, unfortunately. Can. I want a soccer game. Shout out the earthquakes, though. <laughs> shout out San, Jose San Jose earthquakes. earthquakes. Shout them out. Go. You're uh, going yeah. down. Well, hopefully, hopefully there will be more opportunities like this. Luckily, we're living in a place, you know, between three major cities, so it's like, you know, there's there's plenty of music, plenty of opportunities out there, and we're just we're just trying to look for them every every uh, chance we get. Yeah. So um yeah, wish us luck on that. Yeah. Good luck, Jordan. Good luck, man. Good luck, guys. Good luck good to luck. you too. Yeah. yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Oh, yeah. Yo, we, uh, if he plays top two, <laughs> me, imagine me and him. Oh, plays top two. Oh my god, I'll it's over. I think yeah. I'll cry. You'll be proud of your sons. I'll be proud yeah. of you guys. Hell yeah. Big big pop. So we, we call him pop now because no, like, no, 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 no one calls me that. Yeah, we do. No one calls <laughs> but, me that. Yeah. Um. So, I yeah. think I think going along with the, actually us, um, perf- well, flipping samples in front of a live crowd, is kind of like. I've never, I've never. But I don't think, no, no, I don't think it's live. No, you have to bring it. It's not live. It's not live. And I think they give you guys a, they give you the atmosphere of being with 40 people around it and knowing it's a competition, knowing that top three, knowing Bosco's there, knowing all the pressure. There's going to be some. There's going to be pressure. Just don't screen surf. Don't look at anyone's other screen to like throw you off because you may see someone doing hella and crazy gonna, shit and it's like you're gonna think of well, something we, we also don't know how it's gonna be split up yeah, like we how, how we're gonna be sitting Um, we don't know if all 40 people are gonna be sitting there and Bosco is gonna be on you know platform and playing the music out loud for everyone to hear and them listening or they're gonna call us into rooms individually and and decide that way because yeah. I've, I've seen um, other shows and whatnot that basically you know they take the producer in the room and then all the judges you know listen to it privately and and you know they they give you feedback mm. that way so i'm hoping for it to be that way just so you know it's more that one-on-one you can be talking and and whatnot um but i'm really down for anything i think adding pressure is going to be a is going to be a really really good thing for people trying to get out of their comfort zone yeah like this is another challenge that i'm definitely ready to face yeah i think this i the fact that this helps out with the beat block thing and also to our next like topic about like where like yeah where you're gonna make, make the beats. beats like that's a new spot for you guys yeah, to make I've the beats never, in front of other people. Made, I've never done a competition, so I feel like this would make me want to like miss. Maybe it'll spark something like different yeah. in me. Maybe it'll I, be a comp- never, competitive beat. Maker. Yeah, it's like it's like a battle of the beat maker. I used to watch them like yeah. also, the I never Sunny thought, Digital and all them. I never Metro. thought Metro and Sunny Digital. I never thought I'd be in one of those. Me neither. Like right, I'm sure you guys never I thought never that thought, either, right? Yeah. And it's like that's crazy. I thought it was only like like Atlanta. I swear it was only like because <laughs> every time I seen it, it was like Atlanta type of like battle of the beat maker type of stuff. But yeah. I feel like <clears throat> like where to make beats is another way out of how to overcome or how to overcome beat block because I know you, Jordan. Um, you, I know you make beats in like your your place, right? But then you'll come to the studio. Like you text me, like, "Hey, you going to the studio today?" So that we can make beats at the studio because you said some of your best work has been here. Yeah, no, I've noticed that. All right, so like, yeah, talk about where you like making beats the best. So, um, when I first started, I thought it was a really big thing on my mind um, that sort of like ties into getting you know to this competition. Um, that you know, being in my bedroom like was the best place where I got the most creative and whatnot. Um, and I was always worried about like, sort of like, okay, if I get in a room with other people, will that like ruin my vibe? Will I be distracted? Will I like be pressured in any way? And can I handle the pressure? And, you know, since coming here to the studio and that being very new to me over the past, you know, four or five months, um, I, I'm able to overcome that and actually find out that some of my best work has been here at the studio, you know, like, of course, making beats all the time is you're going to be constantly progressing, but you know, I, f- I feel like also being around not only a lot of other people to add the pressure, but around sound engineers has helped me mix my beats better, you know, because I'll be listening to them myself in my headphones, not only having to make the beat, but also having to mix the beat and then, you know, show other people and see what they think. So showing other sound engineers and then being like, OK, your leveling's pretty, pretty decent was like a huge confidence boost. And I wasn't expecting that 
at all. You know, I didn't know if I was ready for that kind of pressure. Um, also getting the skill down of uh, maybe having an artist in the room yeah. and making a beat on the spot. That That's what I was terrified of. But I, I started doing that within the past, you know, couple, maybe two or three weeks. And I've been noticing that going pretty well. So, you know, it's um, it's definitely like where I make where I like making beats the most. I uh, I don't know if I can can uh, pinpoint a location because I feel like it's becoming pretty random now. You know, like even if I'm not most comfortable, I still come out with something, you know, surprising to myself, you know. Yeah. I, I used to think that the same way I used to think, oh, in my, in my room, I this is all I used to do. I used to, in my room, in my old house, I used to, like my parents' house, I used to turn the lights all the way off. I used to have shutters, so I my room was pitch black, and I used to f- turn my lights on, the little LED glow. My bad, I just hit my mic. The little, the like LED glowy ones I used to have on my, on my, uh, you know those producer setups, Set you know, the vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And really the lights, and I used to have classics. the one that like, that uh, faded the lights, like the gradients, and it used to go like, mm. from, like mm-hmm. you know RGB, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? RGB. Yeah, and like it used to like, it used to just, I don't know, it was cool. Yeah, I mean it sets a, it sets a, yeah, it sets a every mood studio kind of needs that. Yeah. Every studio needs that. Yeah. Well, that's why yeah. all these studios like are the colored. Light. Yeah. Yeah. Purple. Like they pick these colors on purpose because they bring out, they're the creative colors. Yeah. Mm. But I think every color can be a creative color for some people. It may trigger something. Yeah, yeah. I, so, like, I used to, my my room was pitch black. I used to put on my LED like strip on the back of my desk, turn that on, have that playing, and then I used to um, cl- make sure my door was closed because I know my parents can get mad at me. I used to turn my speakers up like you know pretty high, and then um, uh, I always always just went. I was on YouTube for like an hour, and I just. Went through samples. I didn't. I didn't like. As soon as I found one, I was like, oh, "I'm gonna put this in FL." I used to just make a playlist, mm. put all of them, put all of them in my playlist, and I would go through them again, and be like, "Okay, this is, this this is pretty cool." Like that's how I used to. And then I would pick through which my favorite one at that time, and then that's how I would pick out my my uh, sample for that day or that that first beat, or whatever. That's, that's exactly how I, how I do it. There you go. Hey, give me some of that, man. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> that's that's how that's how I would make that's where I I would make beats at, at my house, but now where I live now I can't make I can't bump it in the speaker in the because I live in an apartment now, and like I have roommates and I'm like mindful, and I don't want to like bump a bump you know my like my speakers in there I don't even have speakers but I'm just saying like <laughs> I I don't want to go out and buy some and then crank it all the way up and because that's why I like I like it loud I don't know. Like especially when you're making beats, you want to hear everything knock or slap like your homies did. You yeah, know? you want it to slap. You want yeah. to make it slap. And even using your laptop speakers, it's like you're always here at the studio. So by the time you get home at like you know eleven, twelve at night, maybe even one a.m., mm-hmm. it's like you're not going to be making beats yeah. unless it's with that's your true. headphones. And then that's why I I always um I I don't like making beats off my laptop speakers. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I don't think anybody does. Eli Eli does it a lot though. That's what I know Eli. We'll get to you in it. My bad, Eli. I don't want to just. I I used to just like randomly, but I try to have headphones. Yeah, I all I do the way I make beats now, in my house. If I make beats, actually, I, I lie, I'm lying. I don't make beats in my house. I and I've never made a beat in my. Uh, well, where new, do you make beats now? In my new place. Uh, now I make them here at here at school. Uh. With my UA, I plug it in my, you know. My Shout interface. out UA. Shout out UA. Universal you know, Audio. UA, my arrow. I use my arrow. Uh, use, you know, my interface, plug into the speakers. Everybody knows. I'm, I know you guys know, but I'm, I'm just. Yeah. You just get so, I'm so used to it. I just plug in. I just use my arrow to connect it to the speakers, and I just make my beats off there. But I, I always, most of the time, most of the time I'm always with someone. I, I, I haven't really been by myself at school yet. Recently, since we've all been like kind of together and working on like our like practice yeah. sessions and stuff, yeah. so yeah. well, whenever I do make beats, it's usually with Vic because me and Vic make like the similar styles. Or if Vic's not available like during that week or that day, I'm like with Jordan, we'll be making collab beats. And then that's I, I'm always with someone, I guess. Is that for me right now? I'm always with someone right now, and we're lucky women. I mean, we get to make beats out of like twenty thousand dollar speakers. Yeah. I mean, we get all this stuff here, so it's like. Like if we went this Yamaha, is where, we can like, go in Gamma. Yeah, like if this we is went. where we would want to make beats, and this is where we're making beats. Yeah. And it also knowing that this the equipment we're using is professional grade, and it makes me, f- like, it kind of makes you feel yourself, and you kind of feel good, and then you're, like, making a beat, and, you you know, it feels good. I don't know how to explain it. But, like, knowing that, like... Just so you guys know, like, if you're wondering why we keep on looking, like, 
outside to that window. Yeah, there's a window too. We're our, in like uh, a left. studio right here, and there's a right. window where you can see it through the hallway, and people keep on peeking keep on in peeking, and stuff, yeah, peeking through. It's all good. They want to be part of the RMP. It's all good. All right, Vic, let's go. <laughs> oh Where do you God, make beats oh at? All right, to finish mine, actually, I don't know if I ever said it. Uh, right now, I like making beats at school and the speakers really loud. All right. Um, so I like making beats at my house and my garage. Uh, I got like a garage, but like we kind of like, uh, it's kind of big. I mean, it, it's a Wait, garage what? studio. What'd you say? What'd you say? I got a garage. I got a garage. <laughs> it's, like a like, garage. it's like a garage. Yeah. <laughs> Explain that out. Please. No, but you know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm it's, telling you, he's 30. It's like a studio, <laughs> though. He's losing it. Because I have a vocal booth and everything in there. And I but have I still like haven't um, been to. I have the like way. the sound, well, it's soundproof concrete, but it's not that soundproof. But that's what we built it with. And like I have my speakers, they're kind of shitty, but they do the job though. They're they do the job. Nah, it's pretty good. It's good. I mean, they're all right. I mean, reference yeah. them on you know, everything you can get. Any yeah, and uh, I have like lights, colored lights in there, and I got my vinyls. Do you have the lights off? Always, I always, always got off. my lights off. Yep. Got my colored lights on. Sometimes I'll bring my dog in there. Coco, shout, shout out, out Coco. Coco. Um, I have two dogs. One's a Chihuahua. One's a Husky. And the Husky can't go in there because like she's crazy but coco goes in there he kind of adds a vibe to it so yeah. you know we're just vibing out in there yo same way with my cat yeah, i just want to <laughs> say shout out to tom i love you um i don't want to say anything else i might cry never mind go ahead r.e.p tom um so yeah i'll go in my garage and then i'll go through samples for like a long time i do what esteban does i just look up samples on playlist i go through a, a ton of them i'm like oh, this one sounds good this one sounds good this one sounds good and then usually by that time, I'll take a little break and then I'll come back because I have like 20 samples in my playlist. And then I'll just go through which one I think is the best at the time. And I'll get that one and I'll go straight to FL and I'll like start making beats. And like, um, I think the fact that I have no sunlight coming into my garage is all dark, just the colored lights and my speakers. Like, no one bothers me. Like, time flies so much where it's like, that's the place where I'm always like locked in. Like, I forget to check my phone and it's like, but if I'm not at my house, which I haven't really been lately, I'm here at the studio, like, making beats here. And, like, it's good here, too, because, like, I'm around, like, these guys. And, like, you guys make beats all the time. So it's, like, we're all making beats. So it's not like we're just not doing... It's a lot we're hanging out, but it's, like, we're making beats, though. And, like, we'll all sure. check out each other's beats. And then sometimes we'll be like, oh, that shit, that shit's sick. And then, you and know... We'll be like, hey, that shit's trash, Esteban. Yeah, Esteban's the only one that says that shit's trash. Like, <laughs> I've never said yeah, that. We're, high we're, standards. All, He's high we're standards. supportive of Except we, uh, <laughs> this man, so you know. Come on. Sorry, I but I mean, we, we get okay. pretty creative in there. Like, yeah. shout out Jordan. He recorded my new tag. Hell yeah! Hey, yo, I, mean, I never yo, thought. Say, yo, Vic. Wait, say the driver. <laughs> say the driver again. Huh, the, the driver. Dri the driver. Again. I did. He just don't did. Hey, yo, Vic. There you go. Damn, Vicky. Don't no. say that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like Actually, that. Actually, yeah, say that. Everybody, no, no, no. No one call you. Vicky. No one call me that. I will. You will what? You will what? Yeah. Anyways, um, Jose. Thanks so that's off. that's where I like making beats. Um, yeah. Wait, uh, do you ever make beats with people in the room? Like in your garage? Or you just do it by yourself? Yeah. Um, sometimes I have my brother in there. He'll just be playing like 2K. Hey, shout out D-Shots. Yeah, shout out D-Shots. He'll be playing 2K. Or like when people come over to rap, like uh, I'll play through my beats. And they're like, oh, let's make something on the spot. So we'll make something on the spot. But the only reason why I don't like doing that is because for sampling, like, I like to take my time. And, like, yeah. it's not a five-minute process. Um, well, technically, it's usually never a five-minute process for any beat. But mm -hmm. at least if you're, like, if I was making melody or something, like, people start, like, they already start feeling the flow in their head. So they're already, like, coming up with lyrics before the beat's even done. Yeah. Even if it's just, like, a snare and an 808, people will just start, like, yeah. you know, and then, like, you can still build the beat. But, like, for sampling, it's, like, playing something over and over and it's like you know don't start rapping to that tired. because yeah. like that's not what it's going to sound like and then yeah i get it so you know that's yeah, yeah. people will try to rush you into into finishing it when it's yeah. not even close to what you want to be and then usually i never make beats with anyone besides you because you're the only one that has like the same style kind of mm. um but besides like us four right here at the table i never make beats with anyone else really mm. okay. so no. you, your prefer your preference is making beats in your garage my garage or at, in the studio, like in the actual studio, like what we're in right now. Yeah. Okay. Like it's 50 50. You see, like yourself being just as productive in either. Yeah. Um, but you still prefer the garage? For beats in alone, I maybe might prefer my garage. Mm. But like in general, if I'm doing stuff with audio, like at school, because yeah. I mean, we just got, professional we got all the professional stuff here. Yeah. It feels good. 
Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, working in school, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like the vibe of being here, but I feel more motivated, especially mixing. Thank I, you. Like when I finish anything in class, the first thing I'll do if I have something I recorded recently is just pull out the UA, plug it in, and go to that session and start mixing in class. Um, beats though, I wait, wait, you mix in class? Yeah. Yeah, he does that all the time. He does, really? he does that all the time. Oh my god. He, no, 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 he doesn't put his air, his headphones on. He like plays it through the speaker no, and he puts it like a two. No, you don't. You know he does. You know he does. <laughs> Why would I plug in my UA? Why no, would I plug in my UA? What's the point? No, no, no. If you plug it in your UA, you can't play it out the speakers. If you plug in your UA, you stop capping. Don't cap. And you used to do that with your No, he did. Yeah, in class, we'd be playing it because we'd be sitting there with Isaiah. Look, people on YouTube, look. He used to go put his he used to put his volume all the way down. And, and hug, oh yeah, because in class I do that because I'm not trying to sit there with headphones in front of the teacher. Yeah. yeah, I know, but why would you play anything while the teacher's talking? It's fucking. But it depends on the class. Shout out George. Shout out George. Shout out George. Shout out Pepe. He just be t- he's the doc. The doc. It's alright. That's our guy. Let's go. Who else do we fuck with? Heavy. Scott Miller. Scott. I've never heard of him. Shout out Lucas. Norman. Shout out Norman. Shout out Michael Cox. Shout out Jeff. Don't call him that. Yeah. Shout out everyone from the equipment room. Shout out everyone from the audio. Guys, shout out everyone. everyone from audio here. Come yeah, on. everybody in the audio associate degree. Should we give Milo a shout out? Shout out shout Milo. Shout out Kami. Shout out Milo. Just kidding. No, wait. Everybody's got to call him Kami. <laughs> only, yeah, the, oh, yeah. only the people who oh, yeah. know Shout him out know Kami. That. Shout out Kami. Shout out Frank. Frank. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. <laughs> Frankie. 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 <laughs> Frankie. Frankie. <laughs> All right, Eli. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So, right. But yeah, for beats, I mean, anywhere. I'll make beats in like the parking lot and like my car, like... Really wherever, but most comfortable, I like when no one's home because, like you said, I just like to turn my shit up. Yeah. Just turn it up and sit in my room when no one's home and make beats. Um, same thing, though, when people pull up. It is kind of – it's fun to make beats on the spot, but you know you're going to have to probably make something simple because mm-hmm. otherwise you're going to you're gonna overdo it and you're going to try to make, like, a dope beat, but they're going to not be able to rap yeah. over it. Which so is you, also nice because that kind of gets you used yeah, to, you, like, yeah, yeah, controlling yeah. yourself yeah. and being like, okay, this is enough. No, doing stuff on the spot has for show, like, with my friend, with uh, my friend Vic, uh, the other one. The better one? Victor. No, the is other. Is that what you to say? The other one. Oh, I heard you say the better one. I don't know. I know. You hear a lot of stuff, but. Oh. This guy's always trying to start shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You do. It's all right, though. It's all right. He's, he wants he to see an instigator. Like he he's an instigator. Smoke. He uh, wants all the smoke. But no. Leave the chain. Leave the chain. Look at this. Look at that chain. That's real supreme, too. <laughs> that ain't fake, baby. This ain't no Amazon 696 with shipping. That ain't 696? what it is. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's what it was at the end. Uh, I, I mean, that's, what, that's what it wasn't. That's what it wasn't. 666. That's what it wasn't. No, but, 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 yeah, I think, I think in my room. Is where I like to make them the in most. In your room? Yeah, in my room and then here, like you said, plugging mm. in. and going At your to... room, uh, what what uh, monitors do you use? Right now, I had some like literally like three-inch uh, Logitechs that for some reason, it, but they had a Wait, what about it? your Rockets? No, no, I'm saying before, oh, okay. right before, like those, I just got those recently. They knocked. And I knew they were... you were going to say that. I knew, <laughs> I knew you were going to say knocked or slapped or blapped or... <laughs> but <laughs> go... No, bro, the, bro, they slapped and they were like this big. I mean, I think it was the sub, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I had like a little box Wait, sub. what? <laughs> What? I thought my speakers slept, and then we checked them, and they're <laughs> they're so shitty. <laughs> they pick up like what is this frequency? Like eighty five? Like, hey, Sixty what hertz is, to what like fifteen k. The, the rockets forty. Forty two. No, that's not bad. Are pretty good. Rockets, good. No, no, no. With the sub, with the sub, you go down no, to eighteen or nineteen know, or something. Jimmy like that. just sent me some yesterday. It was thirty five hertz to twenty five k. Twenty five k. I could hear that. That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when when the doc played 18k in the class and uh Ahmed? and Ahmed heard that, he I, heard I was like, wh- I you heard, heard it too? Yeah, he, heard it. yeah he did. It. Yeah, he did. I heard it, bro. That it. shit was crazy. I can't hear above like 15. Ahmed, right? That one. Shout out Ahmed. Yeah, shout out Ahmed. Hey, uh, shout out. Who'd you who'd you say right now earlier? You said someone's name, and he's like, oh, Jimmy. Shout out Jimmy. Oh, yeah, oh, shout man. out shout Jimmy. Out, you know, part of the rough mix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. OG gang. Hey, if you listen to this, Jimmy, text me, man. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably always at Donnie's. I know. He's at that Donnie's. Donnie's. He's eating at Donnie's. <laughs> He's at Donnie's. We can't tell you what that is, but it's yeah, okay. that's under wraps. Re- hey, yo, uh, re- Eli, so go back to your lo- your Logitech. You said Logitechs. Oh yeah, I was just saying it was it was random. They they just like they slapped all over. What about? But <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? What do you want? They were no, loud. Like, they were, your... <laughs> these speakers were really loud. No, <laughs> no it's t- okay. I talk about your rockets now. Oh yeah, talk about I how you the... just purchased new rockets. Yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to. Like, no, no, no. I know what. Oh yeah, I got some new rockets. They're cool. 
But how long, the, ago, how I long ago did you I have, get this? I, I have like totally a bass trap where my um where my table is because one of them is in the corner mm. and I was sitting the other day and I was just getting bass from the right ear and I was like, what is going on? And I was like, oh, so I knocked my bass down to DB on mm. the right oh, side and it's back. like even yeah. now. Okay. So, but uh, no, they're cool. Mm. Uh, it's really weird when I plug it in. I have to turn my UA up all the way and then down and then what? and then mm. the, and then they'll start playing. That's really weird. Mm. What? It like has to engage or something. I don't know. That sounds like know. your car volume. Nah. <laughs> yeah, every three minutes. <laughs> no, I was rigged. gonna say, how much those cost you? But if you don't mind, one asking. fifteen each, I think. One fifteen each. That's a good Holy deal. Shit, that's hella Give good. Give me some of that, man. It's a good deal. What are they? G fives? G six? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. The fives, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get the sub in a little bit, or uh, or I go up to the atoms. I just want to get some atoms. Do, do you think you need expensive? No. Uh, monitors. I bro, first three years, three inch Logitechs. Smart. Three inch Logitech. There you go. Me, uh, I got some eighty dollar speakers. Uh. No. With the sub. No, no, no. <laughs> and in the beginning, in the, in the beginning, I was before I had my Technicas. I was listening to my beats through my gaming headset. Yeah, I was the same way. Yeah. I used to use my Turtle Beaches. Yeah, yeah, XL, no, that's, yeah. Oh, just XL, for, for XL everyone XL out there, um, we've heard that uh, making beats on Beats, the headphone brand, trash. No, 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 no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> God, not, say that. <laughs> <laughs> not say that. I'm just kidding. Shout out Beats, but no, I used to have some. But um, yeah, you're not getting a a pure frequency thing. You're, um, yeah. the boost is. I mean, the bass is always boosted. boosted. So that's what I meant by. Yeah. I'm not saying it was. Oh, trash. Yeah, so like, up. if you have like a normal kick like, and your normal speakers, it's gonna sound normal. But then you put that on the beats and it's like bumping. Like yeah. It's, yeah. You know? yeah. Like try it by look. You could. This is the best way to try it. Is um. Find a song that you know. Uh, not even that. I was gonna say play like a, use an 808 on your on your um, on FL, and then like use a different set of earphones. And you'll notice that like whoa, it was like. And then look at the. I was gonna say look at the chart. Look at the frequency chart. chart. You'll you'll see. Like look at the beats frequency beats chart. Beats is like this on the low end. Yeah, literally like, like smack, yeah. spikes up. So spikes up. For everyone out there, if you don't know, anytime you're buying new speakers or headphones, look up the name of the speakers or headphones and look frequency up the response. frequency response. Or frequency chart, or frequency spectrum. I think it's frequency chart. The frequency response. I thought it was the frequency spectrum. It's because oh, the spectrum. spectrum. Of the whole. But yeah. all of that would work it, for the search. It. It'll, it'll all show. show. You'll be able yeah. to find it. And um, you want the flattest line, if that makes sense. You want the one that's going. A flat response. The yeah. flattest response, because that's you're getting the most natural response out of your speakers. Which took yeah. me a while to figure out, like what that even meant on yeah. monitors and whatnot. I want to say the rockets are the same, right? Aren't they bass, aren't they in the bass boosted a bit? Yeah, but the only difference is like from monitors to headphones is the fact that you do have a tiny bit of control. I think I can go to negative 6 dB on, on bass, which is like mm. a smooth amount. So I like try to smooth it out, yeah. But like, I think, I was looking them up, It's there. I think there is a low end boost, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's like, like as drastic yeah. as the beast. But, okay. but, there so, is, but there is, yeah. So how much were your rockets though? 115 each, so 230. 230. That's not bad. And then Two my speakers were, they're 150 each, but I got them on sale for 100 each. So yeah. 200, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. And what are good. they? M Audios, M -Audios. BX5, something like that. Yeah, um, I got mine off Amazon, 100 bucks. The Mackie limited edition, the gold trim. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to bring it out. How much each? You know? 100 together. 100 what about you, Jordan? What do you have? All right, so I got the um, oof, I the the Genelec something. It's like a brand. Anything Genelec is expensive. And yeah. together for a pair, it was like seven hundred. God damn, so, seven hundred. I was they, about to say you don't need expensive equipment. But no, this guy's I, listen, flexing listen, on us. Yeah, so going going to that. So these the reason that like a big reason that they were um pretty. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> they're if all you gonna if see you're that. Not, yeah, yeah, if, if you're, you're not watching on YouTube. Um, I have. A, I had to put him down a little bit because he's I not speaking into the diaphragm. Put him down a little bit. I had exactly. to like nudge him down. I have a trouble bit. talking into the mic. So um, it's an ongoing thing if you didn't haven't seen this episode too. Exactly, but um, but yeah, the reason that these were so expensive, like a big reason, is because they're super portable. Like they're super small, but they they kick like slap. just like ro like rockets or whatnot. Yeah, yeah they definitely slap. Hmm. But um, going back to like if you even need like all that expensive stuff like you really don't need seven hundred dollar monitors they all nope. mix on literally what like less than three hundred less than two hundred dollar mm -hmm. i would say i have the worst speakers to probably mix on no, yeah I but you make fire nerves. beats out of that you know it's true i do like you come here and you load something up and it's like and it, it works perfect. i think because i i know that it's so like just i know that it, like the bass it doesn't sound loud on there but i know that it's going to be loud so I, when i level it like i just that, you know, just that, like that, I was about nature. to say, if you pay attention to your levels and you actually understand how this, how a lot of it works, mm. you can you without 
not always like hearing it. I'm not saying that you want to know the presence of what you're hearing, but you can see like, okay, I, I don't hear the 808, but it's like clipping. Something's wrong. Yeah. Like it's all the uh, the um, gain staging. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. There. Yeah. It's it's just all... pay attention to your levels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like something that that also like confirmed that like pretty much proof that you don't need expensive equipment is going back to like where we like to make beats and how I said, you know, like I've been really impressing myself here at the studio and being around other people and being around other sound engineers specifically to to be able to check my stuff. Like my favorite beat so far that I've ever made has been here at the studio in like 4 a.m. And I was on Google Pixel earbuds that someone left from an Airbnb at my at my place. And like when mm. I when I played it for Esteban, you know, I was like, "How's the mix?" And he's like, "It's it's literally like perfect." What's the name of that beat? Um, I literally no, named he, it he's favorite made, beat. He's well, he, yeah, mm. <laughs> but he's made a lot of beats off just those earphones. Those I know, we always that's, see, that's yeah. always see him with it. He always wearing little earphones. And Jordan he, will be making beats through headphones while me and Esteban are mixing. <laughs> to like big ass speakers and yeah, they're so still making it work. I yeah. literally constantly have to borrow their little uh their Bose soundproofing what it Sound noise cancellation. cancellation. Yeah. Yeah, like speak uh headphones because I'll be in the same room literally right next to them and they'll be blasting their mix through Yamaha's or where whatever room we're in, they'll be blasting it through monitors and Yamaha's. I just need to tune it out. So that's <laughs> I any Yamaha's in the school. Yeah, <laughs> gamma. Gamma has Yamaha's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Gamma mobile. and then we use Rockets. Oh, we don't use rockets in Opal. Emerald Emerald's Opal has a, rockets, but we go through those big old. What ones. are they called? They're the most expensive ones too. They're like thirty grand together. The Adams. Yeah, yeah. And then they get the sub alone is like probably like five thousand. You talking about the one at Opal, right? No? Well, these ones we got behind us right here. I mean, oh fuck, wrong room. But <laughs> <laughs> wrong room, wrong room. No, the NS10s alone are like two thousand dollars. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's just together. it's They're just sixteen hundred together. together. Yeah. Or eighteen hundred. You could probably I find them. You could probably find CLA tens are two thousand. You could probably yeah. You could probably find them for like fifteen hundred for a pair. Yeah. But yeah. So we're we're basically making you know pretty quality stuff on everything, and I'll be in the same room as them. They'll be making it on you know thirty thousand dollars speakers, and I'll be making you know same mix quality beats. I would yeah. say like on earbuds or Bose headphones. All know? all we really need is our laptop and our Arrow, and like headphones, and we can still get the job done. Mm-hmm. You don't even need. You don't oh. even need. Well, well for okay. us, we do need the arrow. For mixing, you need. For for mixing, we like the arrow because we got it for our school, and then also, um, it adds CPU power for Pro Tools so that our thing doesn't crash. We get some free plugins with it. So, I mean, for us, it comes in handy. And like compared to like what everyone else has, like they're the cheapest ones out of all of them, but the cheapest but still professional standard. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you. I, I feel if you're a B maker, you don't even need a preamp. You don't. Yeah. You don't. At all. Oh, no. You don't. You don't. You got a laptop and a pair of earbuds. Yeah, that's all you need. You're good. Or like some cheap ten dollar headphones. I used to headphones. use uh, my Apple headphones school when I first candies. started. I first started school candies. I, I start with what you can. Apple headphones, and then I had a, uh, you know, those portable speakers. Yeah. Like I had a pair of TDKs, like mm. per- portable. They were like yeah. bad, like you know. I hear you. I said plug it in with an aux. Yep. So yeah. I was making all my beats. It was portable thing right there in mono but you know it was all yep. like stereo still but i was doing it through a mono speaker mm-hmm. and it worked for like I, two years yeah, yeah i was gonna say i think for starting off if you're like starting off and you're a kind of a beginner sort of you know you're kind of just starting off be, being a beat maker or you're interested in becoming a beat maker and need like are wondering uh, what equipment to get i feel like don't go and ball out like don't go get 700 like dollar uh studio monitors whatever you pick stick to it and that'll that'll be your reference maybe spend like if you're gonna spend seven hundred dollars on monitors and you're just starting out, maybe use that seven hundred dollars for like all your equipment together. Yeah. So you can get a nice like hundred dollar mic. If you oh, that's not even counting if but you have a laptop. Depending what you're doing. Yeah. assuming you're just yeah. making beats. If you're just making if you're, beats, get a get a get a keyboard, get a controller, get a MIDI controller. Yeah, which is like yeah. ninety nine bucks. Right. You can right. Get right. them on sale often. Go on I Facebook never Market. Use let go. MIDI. I'm just saying, if you, want, if, you're, if you're, if you're, if you want to sit there like, and you're like making them, like I don't know, I like having. I think a MIDI. the bare bone, but yeah, you guys all use the MIDI. Bare bone basics. But you guys make the, the melodies. Yeah. If you're gonna spend if, seven, okay. go get a cool VST, like something. I'm saying, yeah. Think about this. Or a good doll. If you're just starting oh, out, yeah, you don't even it. have a doll. I say honestly, as much as I love FL, I'd say buy Logic. Yeah. I'd say buy Logic. You don't need a MIDI, like you don't need one. I like guarantee you, you don't need one. You could use your keyboard off your laptop. 
And that's like, that's how I started. I didn't get a MIDI, a MIDI until like eight months after I started. And it really depends how you approach beats. If, you, if you're not one to click in stuff, you know, if you're one to like, you're coming straight out of, you know, like learning how to play piano from church or learning how to play piano in general and you just really want to be on the keys, then go out and spend less than 100 bucks. bucks. 60. Yeah, on, on, on a mini on like, controller. Go on like Offer a Let Go. Mm-hmm. And like yeah, going reverb, reverb, like, something I'm, like that. Sweetwater, yeah, and and uh, reverb. Just, reverb has a lot of controllers for cheap, yeah. especially like Akai. Yeah, so I think I want to say that you like you really do not need anything expensive. You don't, like, yeah, you, you don't at all. Where the only reason why we have the gear we have is because, well, okay, besides us coming to school, I think it's because we've been doing it for like three, two, or you know, two or three years plus. Whatever and and we didn't get all this at well we got all this at once but yeah. I mean we still like for like all my other stuff at home like it took me you so for, long yeah, to get yeah. speakers no, when I bought I those too. bad boys you know like yeah the first thing I was I got, feeling good like, I was feeling good also when I was starting out speakers and a computer uh, yeah like I wasn't getting this advice when I was starting out either I saw every producer that I look up to have FL and rockets yeah, rockets yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, that NS- was the goal NS5. you know that's what I saved my money up for and balled out on you know so. Yeah. We're just trying to, you know, be here to to help you with that and guide you because we don't want you spending a ton of money. There's no point in that. You can invest that somewhere else, save. You know, you're going to need that in the future. You're going to need that for your music eventually. So it's like any way, any way we can help save you time as a don't, beginner. For don't sure. jump on the first thing you see, which is like a big habit. Because like, oh, like, oh, everyone has Omnisphere. Everyone has this. Like, I, I got to get this. I want to yeah. do this. Find out how, what you're doing first make simple stuff and build from that because even though the basics are boring the basics are what everybody needs yeah and i think we talked about that in like i want to say the first episode maybe second second i think and where it's just you know learn learn the basics just just go back and listen to that episode is all i can say and yeah that that'll help you start out but as far as like equipment you don't need the most expensive just do you and make sure you you keep that as a reference when you do when you do start on that if you have a uh, like. Let's say like they have. Let's say what they have a doll and a computer. Or let's say just say they have a computer. Let's just say that they have they have a computer. All right. Because mm-hmm. I feel like at this point maybe you have a laptop. Your mom has a laptop. Someone has a laptop. Most people have computers. Yeah. At this point. Maybe time. get Logic. Well, Logic's only uh. Mac. <laughs> Mac FL Mobile. Native. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't get FL Mobile. Garage man. No, no, there was no. no I get it. There was this guy. Okay, there was, was this guy in my work. There was this guy in my work in SF, and he made crazy beats on FL Mobile. There you go. Like crazy beats. So I can't I can't even tell you what to make beats on, you know? If you find a software that you like using, keep at it. I want to say just research, like, everything. Like, I've, I've never bought yeah, anything yeah, by yeah. just yeah, without you, even, like, lo- doing, doing research. Do I've your never, research. You never, never bought anything, right? I've never bought anything without looking it up. Anything? I've never bought anything without looking it up. You don't know. That's that's the smart way to play it. Everyone should do that. Because, like, especially, especially when I knew it was my own money... And like I was like I can I'm not gonna lose a hundred dollars right now, and I, I just got the Amazon like hundred dollars speakers because I was like I gotta just get something at least. Yeah. And it was like the cheapest ones on Amazon. Yeah, that's the reason I got the Logitechs. But they, they were just at they Best work. Buy yeah, for like sixty. It's like it's, my it first part was sixty, and it came with a sub. I thought they were gonna be trash, and they ended up. So I feel like being pretty solid. To, to wrap it up is look up like make sure you research everything, get opinions, reviews. And you could like honestly, there's also uh, there's like in depth reviews on like monitors and like and, and and not even monitors, but everything. There's always I mean YouTube, YouTube, and, YouTube Google. and Google, YouTube, yeah, yeah, YouTube and Google will save your life and like time and money. Um, mm-hmm. But I feel like that's it for this episode. Um, the Rough Mix Podcast. Sh- uh, end it with your name and then your actual like, producer name. All right, go ahead. Okay, so this is uh, Jordan, aka Coach Koopa, signing out. I am Estewan, aka Trunks. I'm Victor, aka Vic or V, v- to the I, I to the v- C. I- C. <laughs> yeah. Vic. Uh, Eli, aka Mystery, but I might have a name change soon. Hooligans, but we'll, right? Hooligan, Hooligan. We well, might be. We're it's not going to bust. We're not going to. Yeah, it's under wraps. Yeah, it's That's true, just true. a code true. name for it. Right. We're going to bust it out soon. All right, peace that out. That was it for I episode bet. five of the Rough Mix podcast. Hopefully, the first one on YouTube. Yeah. I hope so.
I really hope all with platforms, but visuals on YouTube. Yeah, visuals on YouTube, and then uh, we're gonna be up on you know we got it Spotify, iTunes. Yeah, yeah. everything except SoundCloud. So and follow that's the Instagram. Just, uh, that's a big thing. Follow the yeah, Instagram. Yeah, follow our Instagram. Rough mix and our Twitter. We podcast. don't. We never, we never promote our Twitter. All platforms, every social media, it's Rough Mix it'll, podcast. It'll be in the link on YouTube. Every single yeah, one. it's on the link. All of our Instagrams are you on just there. Go down on the on the description below. Yep. Every yeah. everybody in our everybody in the in the. And the group has their, all their details, everything, all their and info. Feel, feel free too to like hit us up anytime. DM yeah. the the Rough Mix podcast. You know, any questions you have, any further topics you want to add, it's like don't don't be afraid to reach out. You yeah, know, if you need a comment to or DM us on like Instagram, yeah, we're or pretty something. nice. We'll reply. <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of us are pretty nice. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, Vic's at thirty. You know, he's oh one of those God. old grandpas and at, the, at the lawn. Shit. <laughs> that, like has a shotgun now when someone steps on their lawn. You know, that's that's Vic now. True. Ever since he turned thirty. Cr- All right, but we out. Cr- All right, Cr- later. Episode four, five. Five. <laughs> episode five. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> episode five. It's, it's been a long week. Time so. flies. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Long week. Signing out. All right. Signing out. Later. See you guys. Peace.